Miss Uma and I make weekly videos on DIY fashion and all things in between. So today we're doing a very interesting fashion flip video. I have this dress, really big, it was gifted to me by my mother-in-law, Justin Fitright, really oversized and I didn't just want to take it in, I didn't want it to be just an ordinary dress. And so I saw this video by one of my favorite YouTubers, upcyclers, DIYers, Angelina from Blueprint DIY. And I decided to recreate it. So I'm going to turn this dress into a super trendy two piece. I'm really excited. So let's get into the video. All right, guys. So this is the dress. I've laid it flat on the floor and make sure it's well spread out right now i'm taking off the top part of the dress i know you can't see this clearly but there's like a band there so i'm cutting off just under the, ba the band just so that i have enough fabric to make my pants or my trousers So now I'm done cutting off the top part of the dress and so this is what I have to work with. It looks kind of short but uh, it's actually just exactly, it hits just exactly at my ankle which is not bad. Uh, what I'm just doing is making sure that the side seams align so that when I cut it, it's evenly spread now these are a pair of pants which I like to you know I like the fitting of the way it fits and so I'm gonna use this pair of pants as a sample so what I've just done is fold the front part of the pants so I just folded the front part of the pants and laid it flat on one side of the fabric and then I cut the shape of the crotch and so I'm just going to fold it backwards and lay it down on the second side of the fabric and then cut out the back crotch. So because my the black fabric is really stretchy, I don't mind, you know, if the crotch is not um, as long as the sample trousers, it's still going to stretch and fit right. So I'm just cutting down the side seam, as you can see. And I'm doing the same on the other side. Just take off the pins and we'll have two pieces of fabric, one for each leg of the pants. So here's one piece. I'm just folding it and we're going to sew the inner seam which is where I just pointed out in the video and we're going to do the same for the second leg of the pants just so the inner side the inner side seam down like so all right guys so now I've sewn the inner side seam I've just brought it to my table so that we can see a little clearer. Here's the left, the right side and the left side. I've turned them inside out. So I'm just 
just going to spread them side by side with the crotch facing each other and right now I'm pinning the two crotches together because we're just going to sew from the front crotch to the middle of the pants and then to the back crotch so we're going to sew like a U just to make up the trousers together and I'm just going to attach my band. I cut out this band from a pair of old leggings. So I'm just pinning the bottom side of the band to the waist of the trousers. What I'm doing is making sure that the back aligns with the back line and the sides align with the side seam so that when they stretch out they will stretch out evenly So this is the top part that I cut out earlier. It's a little cropped and it's free. And I'm just going to kind of hold it at the back. Maybe like so. And then overlap it a bit. Instead of putting that because of the gathers at the back, I don't want to mess with that so I'll just use a pin to hold it and then sew it down with my sewing machine. just under my boobs and that's why the length of trousers are eating at a little above my ankle so I can style it anyhow I want. <music> Guys, so I love that two piece so much that I had to remake another one and I'm just going to recreate and do the same thing. Obviously these are going to be shorts and not long pants. So Let's go ahead and do it together. If you are enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Please drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see on this channel. Just separated the top part and the bottom part because this dress has a zip at the back I cut it just underneath the zip line right now I'm just giving it a shape because I want it to have you know some kind of U shape just going 
to serge the bottom part or weave the bottom part and that's that so for the shorts obviously it, this doesn't have as much fabric as the pants so it's gonna fit a little bit more snug um, like I did before I'm just using a pair of shorts that I like to wear as my sample so I'm gonna fold the front side and place it on the fabric and cut it out and I'll turn to the back side fold it towards the back and then do the same thing on the other side two legs of our pants we're just going to sew down the inner side seam like I'm pointing out in the video now I've done that and I'm just going to join the crotch together so just like I did before pin the two pieces of crotch together start from the front go all the way to the middle and then up to the back and then when you're done pinning I'm just going to sew it in a U-shaped form. are really snug although they're very stretchy so I don't think I need a band for this you could add a band if you feel like but I'm just going to fold it into a hem fold the waistline into a hem and just sew on it so basically hem the top part of the shorts Here we have it so as you can see uh, I have two new outfits and I'm so excited and I really like the fact that I can interchange the pieces so as you can see in these pictures I have four different looks all right guys thank you so much please give the thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload a new video See you next time. Bye.